Hello and welcome to Russ Plays Games. My name is Russ, and today I wanted to kind of talk about ShadowEra.com. Um, I've mentioned this a few times in my Shadow Era Let's Play um, video series, and so I just kind of wanted to show you like some of the um, some of the different parts of this um, game. Uh, the website for the game. Um, so this is Shadow Era. This is what happens when you just type in ShadowEra.com. Um, and as you can see, this is the uh, Foil Priest of the Light. Um, and they're also one of the first um, to release uh, Shadow Tokens, kind of like Bitcoin. Um, so it's just one of those interesting things. Um, here are some of the different heroes that you can actually um, choose um, if you like download this for the first time and actually start playing then you get to choose um, they kind of let you choose from pretty much most of the humans um, in the game and I think they let you choose some of the shadows too and if you buy some of the in-game packs um, you can get other heroes that way as well um, and then this is kind of what I wanted to uh, to show is this is Belor. This is the uh, the realm that the game takes place in. Um, so when you first boot up the game, you'll actually uh, fight at each one of these little green spots right here, which is actually kind of fun. Um, and so, and you know, we kind of went over this in my tutorial video. This is the uh, the deck creator. Um, there's some in-game stuff. Um, here's Elementalis. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so you can see some different things. Um, and uh, so yeah, they have a lot of really good um, things. And uh, um, this is one of the things where it's it's got to me it's gotten much better than Magic, um, just because it has a lot uh, easier pick up and play than Magic. Um, um, it's not as big. It hasn't been out as long, so it's actually got a lot more things. Um, so when you click at the bottom there, you click that link that says continue to website. This is the actual full website of shadowyearer.com. Um, so you can see the website here. Um, and then this is um, uh, just some different things that you can get. But what I really wanted to talk about, so like here you can download the actual game rules. Um, they have a card list. Um, they have the rankings, um, heroes, news, and then this tab is lore. Um, so if you're looking for a new campaign setting for, say, Dungeons and Dragons or Pathfinder, um, you can actually use Shadow Era. They actually have a huge map. Um, and so I took the liberty of downloading the map. And so like if we click down here, um, you can see that there are different um, connotation so like forests, rivers, mountains, uh, the dashed, the thick dashed lines or the highway and then small dots or roads. Um, you have different things of lith, um, those at uh, Ilios, Lyar, Gadiri, and uh, Irum. And then you have some ruins. They have wastelands, farmland, desert, minor holdings, temples. Um, What's, what's really cool about this is like, so here is like Gadar, and it has like a fully realized world with um, plenty of uh, uh, places to go, things to see, um, and uh, it's it's pretty neat. Like they have a lot of really cool looking uh, worlds and and like cities like here like kind of like Manhattan like this whole entire island is like a fortress island so like you can see the wall all the way around the the city here and like you can just see this whole island is just like one big city so um, if you want they have this size and they have a another size um, that is uh, 200 uh, 2880 by 1920 for desktop backgrounds um, so, you know, that's, it's pretty neat. So you can actually download it, print it off, um, you know, you can take it to a, like a print shop and get a professional print poster made, um, of it. So, yeah, it's, um, 
it is pretty darn awesome um, so if you're looking for something um, another thing if we go back over here if we go back to the lore um, all of these are different um, like so this one this short is like a like a story um, this is uh, some of the tribes that you can actually um, so if you click on read more um, it's like it kind of tells you what the Templar tribe does um, so like the countries of Elios and Vazit found themselves in the middle of a brutal war all of their own uh, they're facing the twin gods brought them to this point many times but never with such a threat looming across the ocean so basically like if you look at this this kind of tells you like what the te you know things are this is Gunther what's cool is that this actually shows you like what their cards are um, so what their um, you know particular so you can actually find these cards in the actual game so like for instance here Gunther um, or Gunther General of Balor um, he costs six um, to play he's a human ally Templar he's unique he has steadfast he can't lead play unless he's killed um, and then friendly allies have plus one attack till the start of your next turn for um, one uh, crystal point so that's actually pretty good um, and so anyway but this just kind of has like some different uh, um, pretty cool little lore and um, what's neat is is that you can actually um, you can actually go through and you can see like they have characters so like here's Jade of the Forest um, uh, Wizard's Journal, um, which looks at Lust, who is a character. Uh, Lois, the savior of Lear, um, he's a human hero mage, and his unique ability for five shadow energy is target ally item or ability is exiled, removed from the game. So if you're, you know, somebody brings out a <laughs> a target ally, and uh, you know you're like, you know what, I really don't like that guy. <laughs> you can just remove him from the game for five shadow energy. And then five turns later, you can remove another thing from the game. Um, and you can see there that it's uh, Duel of the Fates. Um, or, well, it's Fates. So, um, they have a whole bunch of different ones. So, just kind of wanted to show you that uh, that lore. Because the what's really cool is they have like three different things. Um, so, like, Karlstad, Ruler of Gadari, um, Howlfang, Tarot of Vale. Um, Gunther, General of Balor, uh, Death Mage Thaddeus, Earthen Protector, you know, just different, just different things, um, that this, that this game has, um, so far. And so, and it's also, if you just want to know a little bit more about the characters that you're playing in the game, and this also provides that. Um, one last thing that's pretty cool is this, this does have a wiki. Of its own, um, so you can actually go in and you can do things. Um, and um, they have different media, so like you can actually download some different wallpapers. Um, there's like tons of different wallpapers, so like here's Corrupted Angel, Shadow Carmilla, Crystal Titan. That one's pretty awesome. I had that one as my background for a while. Um, Death Collector, Leos's Resolve, Growing Bog Dweller, A Legend Rises, Priest of the Light, um, Paladin of Enoxio, Rampant Krygon, Rakia Spellseeker, and then Yari Shield Bearer. So they have a bunch of different ones there, um, which is pretty cool. I mean, you can just kind of see that they have, um, that they've done a lot of really cool things. And you can also download um, some of the music that's featured in the game um, in MP3 or OGG format. Um, and then I wanted to show you here. This is where you can purchase Shadow Crystals, which are the um, currency of the digital game. Um, and you can also complete offers to get free crystals. Um, you just have to put in your um, your uh, email and your uh, so it connects, so that that way when you complete that action, you actually get those crystals, 
So if you download it on uh, iPhone or um, Android, you can actually go from inside the app. I think you can actually go in and you can actually complete offers to get free crystals through there too. Um, and you can also do it online here. Um, and then you can actually buy physical cards. Um, you can also get some cool swag. Um, and if you buy some of the physical cards, they actually come with these uh, redeemable codes for Shadow Crystals. So you can actually come here and you can actually redeem them and it'll have you log in, um, or if you're new, you'll register, and then uh, I'll do that. And I just kind of wanted to show you um, that this one has, um, so like you can see here, they have a bunch of different things. Um, the oversized heroes here, I just wanted to show you, these things are pretty cool, because um, like, they feature the Dark Prophecies art on one side and then the normal art from uh, Call of the Crystals. And so if you like buy this um, for 18 bucks, it gives you all 20 heroes. And they're double the size of a normal card. So if normal cards, you know, if you know what the size of a normal like magic card is, these are about, tw they're about the size of those large cards in like a magic commander deck is what they're looking at. Um, and then you can also see here that they have a Wolven playmat, which is kind of cool. So it's an actual playmat um, from Shadow Era. Um, and it's, I'm probably gonna end up buying one of these eventually, <laughs> once I finally get some cards. But um, one of the things that I really wanted to talk about was uh, this, the physical tournament bundle. This I thought was actually pretty dang cool. Um, so they have, you get 10 Call of the Crystals class decks. So you get, that's basically every single class deck in the game, okay? You get two boxes, 48 packs. You get one Call of the Crystals booster box, one Dark Prophecies booster box. And you get two, pre two packs of premium Zaladar card sleeves, which are these things right here. And um, you also get free goodies to dish out as tournament prizes. You get a, a pack of 55 exclusive premium foils not found in the booster packs. Plus you get a free pack of the oversized double side hero cards so that when people um, you know build their build their decks you can hand them the, the corresponding character card if you want. Um, the recommended tournament schedule that they have is um, you play sealed deck so eight players choose their class deck with two more packs totaling three packs because you get a pack inside the class deck. Um, you get Meltdown, you get eight players, you get four packs each, and make a three card deck with no building restrictions. You basically just mash together, you pick one hero that's actually in the booster box, and um, and you uh, basically just play. And then it says continue with constructed format tournaments once the players have enough cards. Um, it says by charging tournament entry fees, you can clearly make you can easily make back money for these cards. Prizes typically include random foils, card sleeves, redeem codes for the online game, and their pick of an oversized hero card. Like we're also gearing up for more prizes and support for a physical game. Um, so yeah, they have a whole bunch of different things, and so I'm actually looking at getting this because I think this would be a great way to get people into the game. Um, because one other thing that they have, um, so let me go back. Um, to the Shadow Era main page here. And once I get back to the, uh, there we go. Um, let me go back to home and Champions program. So this is kind of cool. Um, they have this Champions of Shadow Era where it is the release of Dark Prophecy. Shadow Era is set to break into the physical market in a big way. Um, the quality of the game and the gameplay are top notch. Now we want to spread the word. Um, I've applied like three times to be a champion. I have not yet been approved. Um, and so I'm really kind of mad that they haven't put me in there. Um, but you can see that there are people all over the world, literally. There's some people in Sweden, Scotland, um, all over the US, Brazil, Argentina, England, Czech Republic, Thailand, India, um, Germany, Costa Rica, Portugal, Greece, Germany, Scotland, Wales, New Zealand. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I mean, they have 
a whole bunch of different people and then these are stores where they're selling the physical um, cards right now um, so if you live in one of these countries you happen to see my uh, thing you can actually go to these places if, if you're near them I, I understand that sometimes like if you're you live in Washington you can't always drive to Las Vegas Nevada or West Berlin New Jersey or Indiana um, or uh, Tennessee <laughs> um, you know to see these places North Carolina um, there's one in Meridian Ohio huh, crazy um, but anyway so I just kind of wanted to show you that. Um, so, you know, it's like here in Meridian, Ohio, they have Meltdown Monday every week. These guys have thrown out Thursdays um, in Prague, Czech Republic. Um, these guys are like, ask us for a demo. So um, I, I've been wanting to kind of break into the physical market and I, that's why I've been wanting to get the champions, uh, the tournament bundle because, and then, and then become a champion. Um, so that I can start um, breaking people in where I live because that's one of the reasons why I started um, playing the the game and putting it up on YouTube because I want people to see it. So, um, and I think that'll do it for now. I just kind of wanted to show you how excited I am for um, this uh, game. It is amazing. I absolutely love Shadow Era. It is one of my favorite games and... Um, uh, so now that you kind of know that, um, I hope you'll continue watching and, um, up next, um, I'm going to, uh, um, I know I haven't posted in a while, so that's why I'm, I'm doing this. And so, um, I'm going to break in and, um, play some more Shadow Era online. So thank you for watching, uh, Russ Plays Games and have a wonderful day.